Welcome back. We are here looking at the US indexes. We are going to look at the S&P 500, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq. This is going to be my daily forecast for February, uh, October 16, 2020. And uh, if you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner. We have uh, increased the subscriber number by 100% um, uh, the last uh, three weeks. And we are really, really grateful. We just passed um, 100,000 subscribers, 100,000, 1,000 subscribers uh, last week. And of course, we are really grateful. Um, second, welcome to like this video and uh, hit this uh, bell button to see our newest video. As this channel grows, we will add new content and we have added a new indicator, which is a CCI which is uh, an oscillator very similar to the, the RSI, but I technically like the graphics. I think they are better when confirming when we are about to make a trend reversal in the uh, stock commodity whatsoever. Uh, the RSI usually just use the number in, to indicate whether or not we're overbought or oversold. So, but uh, the CCI is amazing indicator when to determine when we are overbought, oversold, and if we are trending upwards or downwards. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have broken down uh, quite significantly down today. We gapped lower and then we have broken down even further. We're down more than 1%. And at this point, we are probably going to go all the way towards the 50 moving average first. And I say first because this market has been screaming for stimulus and it is almost 100% certainty now that we are not going to see any stimulus uh, before the election. And the problem is as well on the, at the moment is that uncertainty is on Wall Street what will happen after the election. Because if the, the election, the results of the election will drag out, then there will be a lot of chaos surrounding the um, post-election uh, period. So that will create uncertainty and that will most likely also affect uh, additional stimulus and that will affect the economy significantly. Um, furthermore, cases of corona are soaring, not just in the United States, but everywhere around the world. And that, of course, affects markets as well. So... At this point, we are going to head towards the 50 moving average. At the moment, the 50 moving average is around 3,396. Uh, and uh, if that breaks, then we, of course, go to the 100 moving average at uh, 1,277. A break above this uh, top here will see us go all the way to this top here. But I don't expect us that, that to happen. What I do expect to happen is that we'll go towards the 50 moving average, something similar to that, and then we will bounce from there. Then we'll go higher from there, uh, something similar to this. That is a possibility. It is also a possibility that we'll go all the way towards the 100 moving average and then, then continue uh, this trend upwards. I don't expect us to go further than that. Of course, things can become really chaotic, but Wall Street, um, well, Wall Street probably won't let markets collapse as they did uh, in February. Um, and I do believe the Fed will step in in emergency, emergency situations uh, and push the market higher. Uh, in order to get the economy, real economy, growing again, consumer spendings and so on, they technically need, um, in the long term, they need the help of Congress. If you look at the technical indicators, we were significantly overbought in this area here, which is that green candlestick here. We broke down since then. Uh, RSI was uh, way over 70, and you can see that the shape of the CCI we have peaked here and now we're heading to lower levels. We're probably going to see something similar to this and then go up again. Uh, if you look at the MACD, we are also, it is also indicating that it will cross the signal line. Probably not today, 
but tomorrow or Monday. The stochastic has crossed the signal line, indicating bullish, bearish momentum, and the uh, Bollinger Band, we have reached the top and about to re go towards this 20 moving average and probably lower than that. If you look at the uh, Dow Jones, so Dow Jones, I need to get rid of this, very similar to the uh, S&P 500, we have broken down from our overbought situation, uh, position here on, on Monday, I think it was, you can see it right there, and now we're basically trending uh, downwards, and we'll probably trend a lot further down. Uh, most of these industrial uh, indexes have fallen quite significantly. Look at the DAX, for example, and, and so on. Most of them have fallen around 3% today, which is fairly a lot. Um, first defense here is the 50 moving average at um, 27,000 or 28,000. And then we'll go to the 100 moving average at around 27,000. I don't believe this market will go lower than that before bouncing. You can see that the, the uh, MACD has about to turn around. The stochastic has turned around, indicating bearish uh, momentum. And the Bollinger Band, we hit the top on Monday. And now we're trading towards this 20 moving average. And then we'll probably go towards this lower uh, Bollinger Band. A break to the upside, we have to break 28,936. 30, uh, 13, 30, 30, and then we'll go to these uh, these highs. So look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ has gapped lower and then broken down uh, quite significantly. We were way overbought here on Monday. Uh, it was expected for this market to break down. It's it's just not a market that you, that you short because most of these uh, companies are are really profitable and they are uh, going to go higher in the long run. So the idea is to basically buy at a discount or buy when this market goes, to, you know, this index gets lower because it will definitely go higher in the long run. Uh, if you look at the uh, look at this, we'll probably go to the 50 moving average first at the 11,474, then maybe towards the 100 moving average. That is a really long shot. Uh, I don't expect that to happen. I do expect this to just bounce off the 50 moving average and then go higher uh, to towards 12,600. Um, if you look at the uh, RSI, it was overbought here. Uh, and you look at the CCI, it has uh, changed. It was it, it topped on Monday and now is basically uh, trending downwards. And it will probably take one or two more trading days in order for this to bottom out and then go higher. Uh, MACD is showing signs of weakness. The stochastic has crossed the signal line, uh, indicating bearish momentum. And the same goes with the Bollinger Band. It will most likely go towards this uh, 20 moving average. If that breaks, then we'll go lower. Uh, and that will also mean that we'll go lower towards the 100 moving average here. There is something uh, that is interesting here we were in uh you probably go to the one hour chart for the for the nasdaq we go here we were trading in uh in a channel for several months we had this channel that channel which was really reliable we hit the top of it and then broke down significantly and then we also have a bottom channel which was basically uh, something like that. We did not manage to get through this. So this lower, uh, the support of the previous channel is now acting as resistance. We did not get close to that. We broke down when we tried. We got close to this uh, this um, this uh, trend line, and that is probably a worrying sign. Uh, it would have been. Far better if we basically went through this uh, channel and then started trading within this channel, uh, but that did not happen. We got close to this uh, this um, lower um, channel line and then broke down. Now we're basically trading underneath this channel. 
So that means that we'll probably go lower. We will go lower towards the 50 moving average. And whether or not we'll basically get into this channel again, it is a question. We'll probably go towards the 50 moving average and then up towards this channel and then trade underneath it. We could go also go much lower and then go higher. Uh, or we go just sideways. But this is something I needed to point out that at the moment we technically fail to enter the same channel that we uh, previous were in from April, basically end of April, all the way to the beginning of September. Since then we broke down significantly. We have tried to rally up towards this channel. We broke down when we entered the lower part of the channel. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.